Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of The Great Escape. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Movie Guy 365. Okay, The Great Escape is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Kino Lorber. It can be found at your online retailers such as Amazon and Deep Discount. Now, as far as the film itself, I've always been a big fan of The Great Escape. This is one of the movies that I would watch with my father on just basic cable, and it was kind of like a once a year, maybe once every other year type of thing. I really enjoyed it, even younger. I, I always kind of gravitated towards, you know, the characters. Like, the, you know, as far as like a World War II prison escape type of movie, I think it works. It kind of balances a bit of humor, some necessary drama, of course, and you have that ending, which is, you know, based off of true events, is a little dark, to be honest. But I think what really works here is the cast. There are, there are so many great actors in this one. And while Steve McQueen is often billed as the star of the film, I feel it's very much an ensemble piece. Of course, you have really great performances. James Garner, Donald Pleasance is in this one, Charles Bronson. I mean, there's so many good talents in this film. And it's something I can easily go back to, and I always pick up new things. But watching this again on 4K Ultra HD, it really took me back to when I was younger and, you know, just those experiences. So I really like The Great Escape. I'm very happy it's here on 4K Ultra HD. So uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing and then we're going to come back and talk about the picture quality and the audio. Okay, we have the 4K Ultra HD slipcover edition of The Great Escape from Kino Lorber. I like the artwork uh, much more so than the Criterion art, which was fine, but this one has the classic quality to it. And then we have the back cover. Now, also keep in mind that it does say it uh, has Dolby Vision for, for the grading. There is no HDR or Dolby Vision, so it's a misprint. It's unfortunate, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a moment. But, uh, you know, just, just be aware. And then we have the spine. And interior. Uh, no reversible artwork on the slip or on the, uh, on the cover there. And then just your standard fare for Kino Disc. So, overall, nice presentation. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. The Great Escape on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has a 235 by 1 aspect ratio with native 4K resolution. Unfortunately, there was no HDR or Dolby Vision gratings applied here, which is a little bit puzzling. That being said, I do feel that the film has a very cinematic look. Grain structure is very much intact. It looks great. Although I did notice a little bit heavier instances towards the back half of the film when some of the POWs are making their escape. But otherwise, it's fairly consistent and it looks very good. The Great Escape was given a 4K restoration a few years ago, so I wanted to do a quick A and B comparison between the new Kino Lorber disc and the Criterion Collection released about two years back. And what I found were subtle but noticeable differences. On the Criterion Collection Blu-ray, the overall color palette looked a little bit more on the warm side. And when I compared it to the Kino Lorber, the image there appeared to be a little bit cooler, I would say more of a neutral. More noticeable in this particular shot when Steve McQueen is making escape on the motorbike, you can see the countryside, there are some subtle differences color timing wise. The same could be said for some of the other POW shots earlier in the film, and I feel that skin tones look a little bit more natural on the Kino Lorber disc. If I had to really choose a preference between both versions, I'd have to edge it out slightly to the Kino Lorber. I think colors look more natural here. Skin tones, as I mentioned, really benefits, and the overall aesthetic, I think, looks more true to life. That's not saying the Criterion Edition is deficient in any way. I still like how it looks. So those looking for differences, that's what I noted in this release. Black levels look fairly good here on this 4K release from Kino Lorber. Nighttime scenes look excellent. I really didn't detect any kind of elevation or unnatural brightness. And when it comes to shadow detail, I think it looks solid. No issues to report in that area. Another difference I noticed in the Kino release versus the Criterion is how the native 4K resolution does give you that extra bit of detail not found in the other version. I will say really benefiting here, up close shots. 
This particular scene with Tony in the tunnels, you can really see the sweat and dirt on his face. I think it looks really good. And the POW uniforms worn by the various characters throughout the film, especially up close, they're extra bit of texture there. They look a lot more detailed. And I think here it's another indication of why the 4K disc is the preferred version over the Criterion Blu-ray. The Great Escape on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a DTS 5.1 as well as a DTS 2.0 mono mix. Whenever I watch the film on a home format, I really prefer to listen to it in its mono track, but for purposes of this review, I did listen to the film in its entirety with the 5.1. And I have to say, after doing an A and B comparison after the film, I still prefer the mono track. It sounds a little bit more full, a little bit louder, and it has an overall stronger presence. But the 5.1 is not really a slouch. It does open up the soundstage a little bit more, but I feel it's a little weaker overall. And there isn't a whole lot of surround sound activity that make great use of the rear speakers. I did notice a scene or two, one in particular is when James Garner and Donald Pleasance are making their escape in the airplane, but otherwise it's really prioritized up front. But in my opinion, the mono track is the way to go and I think the preferred listening experience. For the picture quality, I'm going to give The Great Escape on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a solid A. I think image-wise, the movie looks really good here on 4K. While the lack of HDR and Dolby Vision is pretty unfortunate, I think that the neutral to cooler tones of the film look really nice here, and black levels I feel are very solid. The real winner here is the 4K resolution. It's solid, it gives you that extra bit of detail, and it overall provides a very nice picture quality for the disc. For the audio mix, I'm going to give this one a B+. Whether you choose the 5.1 or 2.0 mono track, either way, you're going to get a very good experience. The audio is free from any source issues, encoding problems, and I think it has a very good energy, especially the mono track. The Great Escape on 4K Ultra HD, while it doesn't have a Dolby Atmos upgrade, still sounds very good here on disc. So that is my review of The Great Escape on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking this up for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the 4K disc already and the pre-existing Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection, I want to hear your thoughts about the differences you noticed. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 I will see you at the movies.